Okay, so we're back, and after yesterday's disaster, it's nice to see a bit more success today. So, I had a fresh look at it today, and I had a few options. The one that struck me is to turn the barrel upside down. So, there's more distance above my little mini riser, which I've also installed. So, I've set it up, turned the barrel upside down, so now we've got quite a big distance between the top of the stove to the top of the barrel. But we've got less distance underneath, which should give less resistance for the fire to actually reach the exhaust so we'll see how it goes but i mean obviously as you can see already it's working better it did take a good oh 20 minutes before um, the grass cleared it went very smoky to start with and i thought oh no it's another disaster but it did come good in the end just lift off my little steel top and look inside you can see straight down the riser there there's a little bit of smoke appearing Oh, it is also ridiculously hot. Anyhow, looking at the stove, I'll just put a little bit of fresh wood on. It is amazing how different the stove is behaving. It is completely different to the other experiments I've done when it's been standing in the garden with no mass around it. I know we tried the filing cabinet, but this is operating very differently. It appears it may be even that my air curtain um, is working now because there seems to be um, secondary burn happening and right in front of the glass so i don't know it's very difficult to know really but that's the impression you get um i've got the, the, the glass door in places i just you just saw there so there's no um, main air getting through it's just secondary air have a look at a few of the temperatures here now this is in um fahrenheit for american friends um it's not too bad i mean it is heating up i guess the stove has been running for about 45 minutes now, I say the first 20 minutes, it was very smoky and not really working. So even the mass is sort of warmed up about 10 degrees um, in the space of about three quarters of an hour. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not disappointed. I mean, you know, we're approaching 500 degrees Fahrenheit in the centre. And we look at the exit of the chimney. I've got a thermometer that goes right in the centre of the chimney. It's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so getting back to the fire, we're having a look at it, it is so hot, it's absolutely pouring heat out. You can't hold your hand anywhere near in front of it. I'm sitting at my dining table and with the elevated, with the angle set on the firebox uh, on the um, afterburner, it really does work. So I've got a perfect view from sitting down in the chair, looking at it, it's perfect. And now it's been running for oh, way over an hour, I've put some extra wood on. Um, by the left, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, this Vortex, uh, I don't know if I've seen it quite as impressive as this so far. It's working really, really well. It just goes to show how every little change has some dramatic effects, to be honest with you. I mean, by putting it in this massive, obviously the resistance, um, it's made a massive difference. So now we've got that glass really jammed in place at the door. So there's only secondary air getting in. And uh, it's working very well. I mean, it really does seem to work. It seems the rear secondary air and even my front glass secondary air seems to be working. We'll have one last look at the temperatures. In actual fact, I'm starting to smell a bit of burning paint. Um, I, I didn't bother taking the paint off before, just being lazy because I wasn't sure if it was even going to work. So I thought, I'm not going to waste my time. But anyway, you can see this is in centigrade. So we've got some reasonable temperatures going on there. I mean, 250 is not, not bad, good, good cooking temperature, and work our way down. I mean, it's, it's all pretty good temperatures. If I was making comparisons with my J-tube, it's probably about half the temperature. I mean, when my J-tube's really on song, it, it can get up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. We're measuring it in Fahrenheit now. So this is about half the temperature, but I, I'm quite happy with it. I, I really am, um, it's getting very smoky in here. The paint is starting to um, smell a lot. I've got to get out. Yeah, it certainly is interesting how by adding the barrel and the mass, it increases the resistance and therefore changes a lot of aspects of how the stove works. I mean, obviously some teething problems, but we'll keep on it.